Good evening and welcome to Compline on Tuesday evening. I don't know what kind of a day you've had, whether it's a busy one, but let's just try and put all of the day aside just for a few moments as we concentrate on our Heavenly Father. So let's have that moment of quiet, shall we? I will lie down and sleep in peace. For you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. O God and Spirit and Jesus, you the three, from the crown of my head, O Trinity, to the soles of my feet, mine offering be. Come I unto thee, O Jesus, my King. O Jesus, do thou be my sheltering. My dear ones, O God, bless thou and keep in every place where they are. Whoever has chosen to make the shelter of the Most High their dwelling place will stay in his overshadowing. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God and I am trusting him. He will rescue you from the traps laid for your feet and save you from the destroying curse. His faithful promises are your armour. You need no longer be afraid of any terror by night or the death arrow that flies by day. The Lord himself is your refuge. You have made the Most High your stronghold. Be my rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. How precious to me are your thoughts, O God, how vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. I will not lie down tonight with sin, nor shall sin, nor sin's shadow, lie down with me. O God of life this night, O darken not to me thy light. O God of life this night, thy door to me, O shut not tight. O God of life this night. Let's see what words of encouragement Jesus calling has for us this evening. Nothing can separate you from my love. Let this divine assurance trickle through your mind and into your heart and soul. Whenever you start to feel fearful or anxious, repeat this unconditional promise. Nothing can separate me from your love, Jesus. Most of mankind's misery stems from feeling unloved. In the midst of adverse circumstances, people tend to feel that love has been withdrawn and they have been forsaken. This feeling of abandonment is often worse than the adversity. Be assured that I never abandon any of my children, not even temporarily. I will never leave you or forsake you. My presence watches over you constantly. I have engraved you and your name on the palms of my hand. And as we move into a time of quiet, a short prayer. Father, help us to remember dearly nothing can separate us from you. In the dark times when we wake in the middle of the night, nothing can separate us from you. When times are tough, nothing can separate us from you. Amen.
Let's say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Be it on thine own beloved arm, O God of grace, that I in peace shall waken. Jesus, son of Mary, my helper, my encircler. Jesus, son of David, my strength everlasting. Jesus, son of Mary, my helper, my encircler. The peace of all peace be mine this night in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Take care of yourselves as you take care of those around you. And please continue to pray for our world. Good night and God bless you.